Okay, so here's uh, just a short video on how to take apart a whole chicken and break it down into all its parts so that you can use it for all sorts of cooking. Um, basically, I'm going to use a filleting knife and also a little small knife or you can use a paring knife as well. But to be honest, as long as you've got some way of having a small knife to really crunch through the things like the bones and then also a sort of thin knife to get between the chicken breasts, that's great. Although having said that, I've also got a pair of quite strong scissors to cut things up as well. So to begin, I'll, I tend to take out the, the breast and I'll do that by making an incision through the skin here and that'll allow me to see where the backbone is, although you can feel it as well. So I then slide the knife between it and you can see that I'm, I'm pulling away the, the breast meat and now I'm beginning to feel that basically there's a, there's a bit of bone here and you want to take the knife down the side like so. And again I'm doing this in small cuts just to sort of feel my way as I'm going and try and get as much meat off the the carcass as possible. And then again I'm opening it out. You can see there's a little bit of cartilage there which I'm just going to leave. And then eventually you'll start getting through here like to the skin and at the end I'm just doing this quite slowly because for the first time you do this it's quite fiddly so again I'm just cutting through any little bits of sinew and till basically I've gone all the way through and you can feel the breast coming away so this will just take a bit of practice but to be honest after two or three attempts it gets pretty easy so then we've got the chicken breast there. Now you can either tear that off now as a clean sort of chicken breast or if you want you can just cut through the skin and it'll come with it like that. And so some people want to leave the skin on and that's fine, some don't. So we'll put that in there and then to show the same on the other side you can turn it round if, if it makes it easier or you can again just cut through it if you're happy to if you like reverse the approach so again I could maneuver this round just to show you a little better again leaving some of that cartilage there and of course the great thing about this is that you find more often than not because you do this at home you save quite a lot of money and to be honest you can find that buying chicken breast already packaged is almost the same price as buying a, a whole bird. So again, I'm just showing because of the angle, all I'm really doing is separating the chicken breast from the body. It just takes a little bit of work, there's not a lot to it. And again, I'm keeping my, my fingers well out of the way. And you can see I'm cutting away from myself all the time. And so, just a little bit of skin there, and again, that's the chicken breast. Now if you wanted to take the skin off it, it's quite simple. You just grab hold of it and pull away like that. It's nice and easy. Okay, so now uh, I think I tend to do the, the legs. And so as you can see by feeling around in here, there's a bit where the joint is going to come through. So we cut through the skin and you'll see there's quite a fatty piece here which you can include if you intend to cook it off, but generally I'll try and avoid it. So again, sliding the knife in between, you can see that there's quite a lot of fat there, just here. So sliding the knife between it again. And I, I admit for quickness, I tend to just push away with the knife, but it's a lot better if you just grab it and pull around and you can see that that joint just pops out there. So what you can either do, if you're very familiar with it, you can take the knife and cut through. You basically just cut through either side, and this is where this little paring knife is sometimes good. 
it'll just cut through cleanly like that. And so if we put that to one side, <coughs> the other way to do it is to use a pair of scissors. And obviously these have to be quite strong and quite sharp. And pull away. And you can see that you can actually cut through. And you might feel a little bit safer doing it this way. And there we go. <coughs> so next up is the chicken wings and again if you have a little feel around you can see that there's going to be a little joint there and so bringing the knife in and twisting this just takes it off very cleanly like that and you can fold it up and again spinning this round again always cutting away from yourself give it a little twist and there it comes again and there we go so you Again, it's quite useful to not actually waste this as it's got a lot of meat and a lot of flavour. So again, if you've got a large knife that's reasonably sturdy, you can cut through this at this angle. This is where the chicken breast was. And basically just press all the way down and you'll find it cuts through and then you can fit that into most saucepans. Boil it up for a couple of hours. Well, not boiling, but basically make it into chicken stock. And so we'll put that aside for the minute. So <clears throat> what that leaves us with is our legs, which if you prefer, you can take these down to smaller pieces very easily like that. And again, just takes a little bit of practice. You'll find there's a weak spot, weak spot rather where you can slide the knife between the joint. So here we're left with two chicken legs, the thighs, couple of chicken wings and a skin on and skin off chicken breast like so so I hope that's useful and uh, I hope it encourages you to save a little bit of money thanks a lot